is revealed to Muslims so that what? So that no Muslim, no Hindu is with an excuse. Here we go. Mm -hmm. For the wrath of God mm -hmm. is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. Hello, dear. I know by the grace of God you are fine. There are a lot of religion that you need to do something before you will be forgiven your sins. And that is pathetic. In which religion has been corrupted through the doctrine of man, by which it has affected the human race. I'm going to show you a video from Prophet Ubert Angel saying Muslims and Hindus will go to hell. Let's watch the video. It is revealed to Muslims so that what? So that no Muslim, no Hindu is with an excuse. Here we go. Mm -hmm. For the wrath of God mm -hmm. is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. How do you know what is <laughs> And unrighteousness of men mm -hmm. who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. How is it possible? <laughs> because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. That means every human being, Hindu, uh, people who worship Hare Krishna, yes. people who worship Buddha, yes, people who worship uh, Muhammad or yes, Islam. Allah, Some say, oh, we don't worship. <laughs> uh, we don't worship Muhammad. The moment you say, Alhamdulillah, you have oh, actually worshipped Muhammad. <laughs> yes, sir. You taught us also. Mm. Uh. Because the word Muhammad is not Muhammad. Yes. Muhammad means the one who is praised. Muhammad means the one who praises. Ah. So, 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 you don't even need to say Alhamdulillah to Muhammad. Because mm -hmm. you've already said the praised one the moment you call his name. <laughs> you are worshipping him. You are praising him. Yeah. <laughs> now, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, them. for God hath shown it unto them. Wait, is he talking about Jesus here? Eh? He's saying. The, the righteousness of God yes, is in your heart already. Yes. Jesus is locked up inside. Uh -huh. You already know about him if you... Because why? He revealed it to you. Is this Wait a minute, but, but I was born Muslim. Yes, but inside your heart. Inside your heart. In the later times, I will write my laws in their hearts. So it's not hidden. It's, it's not good. hidden, it's in your heart. If you search and sit down and say, what is the truth thing? How many Muslims have come to the knowledge of Christ by saying, I don't know Allah. <laughs> if you are Jesus, appear to me. Yes. If you are Allah, appear to me. And they sit down like this. And they've given reports where Jesus comes in and they say, we saw a man gleaming in white. And he said, I am Jesus. How many? Millions are turning to Christ. You can just it's search just it. Like the search it. The I gave that prophecy. Yes, sir. And That's people, true. millions, are changing just, just by saying, okay, yes, sir. let's just say I'm a Muslim and I'm wrong. Yes, sir. Please, Allah, reveal yourself to me. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. What? So all the religious people around the world have a thing in their spirits. Um. In their heart that shows them Jesus. Here it is. For the invisible things of God from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Wait a minute. So the tree can prove Jesus is alive. Being understood by the things that are made. Yes. Even his eternal power and God, yes. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is yes. revealed also. Is revealed to Muslims. So that what? So that no Muslim, no Hindu is with an excuse. Is this the same reason why he didn't? So that means you will never yeah. give an excuse. There is no excuse. That I did not know. Because the Bible says the Godhead, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, are revealed in your hearts already. No, Prophet, you say this one is revealed unto them. And at one time, the rich man said, send us to my brother. He said, no, don't worry. I am the prophet. And so not only will I confirm to you, they also make me have seen with that same way. That are saying it. He said to you. That means who, who in the Hindu world, in the Muslim world, has not heard there is a Jesus? No, no, no. Why is it that they are not receiving? <laughs> Why is it that Muslims will die for Muhammad but can't die for Christ? Yet yeah, they say Christ is also a prophet. That means they should be fighting for uh, Jesus the same way they are fighting for Muhammad. Because the prophet, according to them. So if he is a prophet, fight!
And if he's a prophet, why not burn people who talk against Jesus? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Sir. If Jesus, the prophet, is, you say prophet, prophet Jesus, prophet Isa, peace be upon him. You say it. Uh -huh. Why not fight? Why not go burn some newspaper reporters uh -huh. and burn some newspaper uh, uh, buildings mm -hmm. for speaking against Jesus? The image of Jesus is everywhere. No Muslim is shouting Cartoons. and killing anyone. Gay. Cartoons of Jesus. Gay. Jesus is gay. Yet they say, do not make any drawings of anything that Allah said is a prophet. Why don't we see Muslims doing it? Hypocrisy and deception. It's hypocrisy. It's deception. You are lying. If you want your religion to be taken seriously, start doing it. Yes, sir. Start proving that you are you treat the the, the Quran with respect. Yes, sir. It said one thing: anyone who opposes Allah's prophets, mm -hmm. do them harm. Yes, sir. Why are you quiet when Jesus is yes, being opposed? Sir. Yes, sir. And there's evidence for his existence in everything else. I can't, I can't. Well, forget about the, ex uh, the evidence. Uh, is there in the Quran? Yeah. Just follow the Quran. Yes. yes. There is no reason. <laughs> there is no reason. The moment you continue, if a Muslim brother or sister there, the moment you continue just de defending Muhammad only uh, and not Jesus, uh, the more you prove your religion is fake. You are opposing yourself. It's a political ideology, That's it's not religion. <laughs> it's not even anything, it's not mm. spiritual. Because if it's a political ideology, that's when you, you use different scales. Mm. Yeah, I get it. Mm. Christians are weak. Mm. They go in a different direction. Yes, sir. They follow the wind. Mm. They go these most Christians they in America in all this Western world mm. are weak. Mm. They dress anyhow, mm. dance anyhow, go to, for clapping, mm. sing any nonsensical music. And we appreciate even if the preacher is doing stuff that we'll be like, oh, it's okay. Whereas the preacher has to be repentant. Mm. But repentance is not done in front of you, preacher. No, it's done before God. <sighs> now hear this. Yes. Hear this. Because that which, when they knew God, they did not glorify him as God. They knew. <laughs> they knew Jesus. <laughs> they thought he was a prophet. Yes. <sighs> Neither were thankful, uh. but became vain in their imagination. And their foolish heart was darkened. So even the professing thing. themselves to be wise, they became fools. Because they didn't watch, they saw God and did not take him as God. <laughs> and they didn't even thank him. Yes, so when we say Jesus is God, they say he's not God. Ah, yeah. And change the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like the corruptible man, <laughs> to birds, <laughs> to four-footed <laughs> beasts, creeping <laughs> things. Now he's going now to uh, idolatry. Wherefore God also gave them unto cleanliness through their lusts for their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Oh, now <laughs> this is involving me. I don't know if you're getting this. <laughs> Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed God forever? Now, here is let's forget about that. <laughs> that tells you <laughs> that, that tells you <laughs> that when you say. Mm. But what about somebody who was born in Kandahar? Yes, sir. Who doesn't know Jesus Christ and nobody told him? Mm. Why would they go to hell when they die? Mm. Jesus says, no, no, they already know. Mm. So I put the God in their hearts. Mm. Every human. Mm. Let me you say, read the book of Genesis chapter number one, verse number one. Mm. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. You read that so many times, right? Yes. And you believed it. Yes. Why would you believe nonsense like that? <laughs> in the beginning, God created. Where, did, where is God Wait. coming from? <laughs> Why would any book start with this? In the beginning, God. Yeah. So, beginning tell us the mother of God. Yeah. Uh, oh, tell us where they used to stay. Yeah. What rock did they come under? Yeah. Give us his address. Yes. Yeah. And he created the heaven and the earth. Then inside the book, you tell us that he, he lived in heaven. Wait a minute. How can he make the thing that he was going to live in? Where was he before he made the thing he's in now? Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That scripture tells you mm -hmm. that there is something in your spirit that was put there by God <laughs> that responds to that. The deep calleth unto the deep and the sound of thy waters thought, my soul yes. findeth after thee. Uh -huh. As a deer pardon for the waters. Mm -hmm. So there's something in my heart that jumps to in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And it makes sense. It makes sense. And that's I don't even ask mm -hmm. what do you mean? Mm. It is making sense right now. Yes, in the beginning God did this. Yes, sir. Yes. But to someone it doesn't make sense. But to me, because I chose to follow that inward witness uh -huh. that he put in there. Yes. Mm. The eternal Godhead. Uh -huh. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yes, when I said yes. in the beginning, God said, that's, that's correct. You're uh -huh. reading correctly. You God created the Son. God said, yes, yes. Uh -huh. And the heaven and the, the Holy Spirit said, yeah, we agree. We have to put it in mind that as Christians, 
we don't need to compromise the love of Christ that he has shown to us. Flamboyant and lifestyle. also, lifestyle. if you are a Christian, analysis. preach Christ every day, which have to be our priority in the kingdom in which we are. And also, we have to focus and stay persistent in spreading the word of God. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you another time.